Yes, it's BJ Franz K in the house with a Kai Professional IMPC. It's time for the second part of our review. The new virtual sampler app for iOS. We're going to get advanced. Are you ready? Now I'd like to call your attention to another app called Tabletop from Retronyms who worked with Akai to bring you the IMPC. Tabletop simulates a bunch of different electronic music machines sitting on a tabletop. It's a very intuitive way to work. I'll go into my session right here. You'll notice that I have two IMPCs already. I can bring them in and set them up along with the other devices. Zoom in. And then with the flick of your finger, you can move from one device to another. Using just IMPC and the included devices, you can build up some pretty complicated arrangements. You'll notice each one of these blocks even has mixer settings that I have recorded to go along with parts. There may be pattern changes, different uh, beat patterns on my two IMPCs here. I've got three tone matrixes. Sort of an ambient uh, IDM with uh, some dubstep bass near at the end there. This is on my SoundCloud. Check that out if you like. First, I'm going to hit the plus sign, and then I can select from a variety of different templates. Right now, I will select the most basic template, the default. And then, from my list of machines, I can select a variety of machines that are included with the free download of the program and they have more machines available by in-app purchase but you notice since I already have my Akai IMPC app I can load it up right within this program so I'm going to select this and then drag it onto my tabletop and it makes the wire connection into this mixer see it is like having a tabletop of gear I'm going to add another important machine, which is this sequencing device. So now I have programmed in a basic pattern on my IMPC inside Tabletop. I'll zoom back and you can see all the other devices as well. Notice I have this machine making my bass and synth line. Very simple. But what is this device here? Allows me to switch between different patterns. Notice I've made a variation on the drum pattern and I've changed up the synth line as well. So now that I have these two blocks here, I can duplicate the blocks If I turn it off this looping mode where it will hold on one block, now it goes through them in order, you see? This is my way of building a longer sequence. These blocks can also be longer. If I want, I can rearrange these parts to make it alternate. You get the idea. This is a simple start, but using this we can build extremely complicated arrangements.
This one device controls not only these two devices, but an entire tabletop's worth of machines. All the adjustments on every one are savable. These are the basic devices, and I can add as many as I want onto the tabletop, as you notice. But if I want to get advanced with my uh, producing, I'm going to want to check out their device store. On the built-in device store, which operates by in-app purchases, you can select from a variety of different effects, filters, uh, delay, distortion, you can even get T-Pain uh, pitch correcting effect. There are mixers. There is an XOX drum machine, 303. This is the RS-4000 polyphonic synthesizer. Anyway, quite a lot of different devices. You can buy these each separately. And if you're a beginner, you may be satisfied with just one or two of these. If you're an expert, or you just want to mess around with every possible device that you can, you may want to get their package deal, as they say you'll save 48%. The price for this bundle is $30, which is a little bit more than your average uh, music app on iOS. You've got to keep in mind that you're getting a lot of different things. Tabletop is a very versatile app, it's sort of like getting multiple apps in one and I find it quite useful.